What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Darien is Fishing. Today is a miserably, miserably, miserably hot day in Alabama. The fish have been biting some days and then absolutely not biting the next day. So hopefully today we get it on one of the good days uh, uh, so we can make a good video for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I'm gonna go and dump Ryan in and then we'll talk a little more before we go fishing. So I'll see you guys out on the boat in just a few seconds. All right, so Six Cents, uh, the Six Sack is sponsoring every single video of the month of July. And I just got this one in, I opened it up the other day. And I actually tried to go fishing and film with some of the stuff. Didn't catch any fish, so that's why a lot of this stuff's already open. But basically, you get a box like this every single month. You get this velvet, or sometimes not this bag. Sometimes it's a cool bag. This one's pretty neat, too. You store a lot of stuff in here. Came with a decal. And then inside, each monthly, this is a monthly subscription sack. Inside each one, you get several different things. So this month, I got a pack of 7-inch Divine Shaky Worms, a Crush 100X, a Hybrid Jig, a Quake 70, a pack of Divine Swim Baits, and a really awesome, I haven't thrown this color yet, Crush Flat 75X. All of this fishing tackle I got for $30 a month. It's about $50 to $60 worth of fishing tackle that you get for $30 a month. And if you use my code, I'll put it right here on the screen, DC Super 6, you even save $10 off of that. So you get a, your first sack for $20 for $50 to $60 worth of tackle. And if you guys are like me, Bruh. when you're doing an intro, you always want somebody just cranking their shit up right here beside <laughs> you. So it messes the audio up. But if you're interested in this, I, I get it every single month, it's awesome. If you're like me, I know that you spend way too much money every single month on fish and tackle. This is a way to kind of reduce that and you get awesome stuff every month. Premium colors, premium prices, I guess, premium everything, everything's premium about this. So check it out, the uh, Six Cents Six Sack. We're gonna get fishing now. We'll see you guys out there in a few seconds. So the six sack I just showed you, I got this worm. It's a um, seven inch divine shaky worm and cinnamon crave. It's either crave or craze. I can't ever remember the name of it, but um, it's it's like a zoom magnum trick worm. I use that worm a lot, except I do like the profile of this one. It's kind of thick and then it tapers off to a skinny section right before you get to the tail, which has got that bulb section, which kind of has a lot of action right there in the water. So when it's standing up, I've got it on a stand up head, three quarter out stand up head. And uh, when you fire it out to these schools of fish, it um, that tail is just kind of moving the whole time, which I like a lot. It straight, it catches a lot of fish. Um, this worm's really good. This color is really good too. But basically, I've got a school of fish found, and this is probably my third cast on the school. I haven't caught any yet, actually. Oh, I thought that was a bite. But I'm hung on something. I thought I was about to swing for y'all, but I should have just swung and then acted like I was fighting something and then broke off. Then I could have told y'all I lost a giant. All right, so I just found some fish and uh, yesterday me and Trey swindled fish together and he left this hair jig in my boat. I told him he could leave my rod, his rods in here. I ended up taking his rods out earlier so we could get in here and fish. And I saw this hair jig and I thought to myself, you know, a good friend knows that this is Trey's hair jig and a good friend would take that hair jig out and set it beside his rods where I put his other stuff at. But I ain't a good friend. I'm a really bad friend, and I'm going to take advantage of the fact that Trey left his hair jig in my boat because I think these fish might eat it. That should be her right there. My mathematics is correct. That should be a fish. Dude, it's blazing hot. Say, Gore. Oh, yeah. I have no clue what that was. It scared the shit out. All right, I'm uh, overly hot, crazy hot. Um, it's starting to rain, thankfully. Normally I would complain about the rain, but it's hotter than two balls in a sock today. Uh, that's how hot it is. Uh, I'm going to a drop shot, and I'm going to use this new, I haven't used this. Actually, I think this is the hook I was using on the um, Wacky Rig video when I first used these Zone Lock hooks. Um, but I'm trying the number two wide gap octopus hook. And we'll see if it works or not. I've never used this hook before. It's a tiny little bitty hook. Uh, I'm going to nose hook a flirt worm. Reaction Innovations flirt worm. And I've said this before, I'll say it again. 
I don't know exactly what size drop shot weight this is, but nobody knows the exact size. You just know that this size is smaller, this size is medium, that size is big. That's about all you need to know. No one cares about the one one thousandths and thirty seconds and sixteenths of an ounce. All right, so on a drop shot, I got that little hook. I'm just tying a Palomar knot with a lot of slack. I say slack, I mean tag line, a lot of tag line. My main line, my leader, and then it goes down to the hook. And if you pull it tight, you can see that the hook point is facing down. That's exactly opposite what you want. So I'm gonna take this line, the end of my tag, and I'm gonna run it back through the eye of the hook. And it is amazing that it will, watch this, completely spin your drop shot hook all the way around. It just completely flips it where the hook, hook point is pointed up like that. That's how you want it. Now with this remaining leader line or tag line that I've got, I'm going to tie a overhand knot in it. And a lot of people don't know this, which is strange to me, but this drop shot weight has this little bitty keeper up there. I don't know how well you can see it. It has that little bitty keeper on the top. And the reason it's like that is so you don't have to tie a knot to this weight. Tie a knot, an overhand knot in your line. Slide the line through that, whatever you call it, that little diamond shaped thing, past the knot and then it just grabs it. Like it, it, it just pinches it in the very top of that. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it pinches it in the very top of it. And then I'm just gonna cut the tag that's past that knot. I don't know how y'all can see this, but there's the knot that I tied. There's the drop shot weight. And the reason you do that is if you get hung up in a rock, those are made so that when you hang up in the rocks or whatever you're hung up in, a lot of times your weight is what's hung up. So when you pull your line, the only thing you break off is your weight. Your weight just slides off and it stays on the bottom and every, you have everything else intact. So cool little trick. Some people don't know that. Now I'm gonna start back on these fish I was throwing at earlier. Maybe they'll bite in the rain. I got the chesty going now because the rain's a little bit, a little bit big drops, but it feels really good. I just don't want to ruin the cameras. Hmm, there's one. God, he dropped it. There's fish right here beside us and I don't know why I'm not catching. Got one. There we go. <laughs> There's a hair jig eater. <laughs> Thanks Trey. I know you did not plan on me using this today, but I'm thankful you left it in my boat. <laughs> well, that was cool. Honestly, I, um, I thought I made a bad cast. All right, let's roll. It's a little warm. Hasn't really cooled off any. There's about 5 million fish below, so it is way too hot to sit here and do this bullshit. I'm not catching any. All right, we're gonna check one more spot, and if they're not there, we're going. All right, guys, this is my absolute last ditch effort to film in a video today. So if I could ask one thing from the fish gods, I would ask that the fish start biting right now. Otherwise, the video that y'all get is gonna be pretty sucky. I did see a big school of fish here, but I've seen a couple of those today. They're misleading. There's no wind at all, and there's no current. There we go. God, he came off. You bitch. Hmm, there's one. God, mother. There we go. That feels like a good one, but I can't. My drag is too loose. Oh, I mean a tiny one, tiny one. Right as we were about to start talking bad about this spot, I mean, I just catch a straight lunker, baby. A straight up gigantic little tiny one. Well guys, if you don't go like this video, I hate you. Not really, but it is really, 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 really hot. And the, this is the only fish I caught on the most best, the most best, most best lake in the whole world. Uh, I catch this little tiny fish on a dang Ned rig. Little fish, pound and a half, down the drain. And I was just about to say how bad I was at fishing, but then I catch one, so maybe I'm not that bad. I'll probably catch one up here too. Oh my God. 
dude, it is so freaking hot. I'm done. You done? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I've, you mind if I go jump in for a minute? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm super hot. I'm gonna go jump in. I got a rope swing for us too. Make it more fun. This is the first time I jump out of rope swing on my channel, so y'all give this video a thumbs up. All right, so there's our target. And first, before I climb, I've got to pee. Like Lil Wayne said, I'm going in. Ooh. So far, so good. No snakes. Woo. Okay, here we go. Oh. Please be no snakes. Woo. Okay, that climb wasn't too bad. And we see no snakes. Oh, hell. Oh, here we go. The big boy sticks over here. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh, God. The objective right now is to not fall off the edge of this cliff. There we go. There we go. Man, I hope whoever tied this knot did a good job. Ryan, is this a dumb idea or a good idea? Good. Here's what all the girls on TikTok don't realize. When you start off a rope swing, you gotta like not start with kink with slack in the rope. You gotta have it kind of tight, kind of sit your weight down on it. <laughs> yeah! This is what you do when you don't catch any fish. <laughs> well, that was a fun way to end a very hot, miserable fish not biting and super, super hot, 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 hot trip. Backflip on this is pretty sketchy because the rope's like right. Actually, it's even more behind the bank, so you have to let go and then keep going out. Sometimes it gets a little sketchy, but anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, the, the fishing stuff that I talked about earlier was a little bit informative, but it's time to go to the house. And I'm, I'm way dehydrated. Ryan's dehydrated. We're ready for some lunch. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit random. Not, not normally what you see on my channel, but it was a lot of fun for us. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell because Ryan is kicking out some banger edits and you guys do not want to miss them. And drop a comment down below on what you think my next video should be about. I'm taking comments from subscribers and gonna start filming some of those um, ideas. I think they're really good. Y'all got really cool ideas. So hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you all on the next one.